become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to pay tribute to Ed Theriot, known as the mighty monarch of all short men. This Silver Era bodybuilder from the real early part of the Silver Era, I'm talking early 1940s, was massive for his short stature, sporting 17 inch arms at a height of only 5 foot 1. Can you imagine that? That must have been one hell of a sight. Such arm measurements were only normally achievable on men of almost six feet in height, but not five foot one. And um, this level of development was basically unheard of in such a short man. Hence, he was called the monarch of all short men, the mighty monarch of all short men. Ed Theriot was truly a pocket Hercules with incredible strength and awesome abilities such as hand balancing and gymnastic tumbling truly a complete athlete not just a bodybuilder now one of the exercises and strength feats he was known for and which he attributed his massive arm development especially the size and strength of his triceps was the performing table dips at the edge of the table as shown in his photo here where he's performing them at the waiter office with ben and joe just miring at him uh, this kind of feat is basically a very advanced form of um, hand bat, uh, balancing and the the performance of the exercise is actually known as tiger bending which is which I'd like to introduce today but first before I get into that I'd, I'd like to um, present his career his bodybuilding career as well as his muscular development um, and then get into his hand balancing feats which helped him develop his massive triceps so let's get straight into it so known as the most muscular small man um, with this massive development in such a small frame, Ed Theriot um, at the late 40s began to compete in uh, mostly Canadian shows run by the IFBB. And for example, in one of his very first um, successful competitions, he placed first in the most muscular award in the 1947 Canada's Most Perfect Physique, again run by the IFBB. Later on in the IFBB 1948 Mr. Eastern North America, he placed uh, first in the short category. In the 1949 Canada's Most Perfect Physique, he actually won. He won the overall taking first place. And in 1950, he also won the short class in the Best Developed Athlete in America. Again, another IFBB competition. Um, finally, he placed... Uh, sh uh, first in the short class of the 1959 Mr. Universe, the IFBB Mr. Universe. Um, again, he was very heavily supported and um, featured in many of the Waiter magazines because Joe Waiter was truly fascinated by this amazing athlete. Here he is um, displaying his phenomenal development, his, his lats, doing a, a front lat spread there. You can see that everything is uh, thick and massive wonderful development and of course sporting a vacuum like all legends did back then amazing now if we look at Ed Theriot's proportions we can really see why he was known as a small pocket Hercules at 5 foot 1 weighing only in 132 pounds he had a chest that almost expanded out to 44 inches and arms an incredible size of 17 inches you can see the massiveness of his arms in this wonderful front double biceps pose, truly Herculean physique that uh, Ed Theriot possessed. Along with um, those measurements, he had a, t a small 28 inch waist and thighs of 24 inches almost, and calves and neck of 15 and a half inches. Truly a phenomenal bodybuilder for such a small stature. And now, a lot of you may be wondering, wondering what, what it is that, or how it is that Ed Theriot developed his, his amazing physique. Well. He actually combined bodybuilding with gymnastics. And when you think about it, firstly, nowadays there are not many bodybuilders that actually use uh, hand balancing or tumbling or other gymnastic um, exercises to uh, support their bodybuilding endeavors. And I say support because gymnastics, if you see gymnasts, if you firstly see the physiques, they're very uh, muscular. Uh, recently, um, I remember seeing a video from Nick Strength and Power, and, and um, he was talking about how gymnasts have amazing biceps. I know he made this video a year or two ago, and when they do the rings, these guys have incredible bicep development. 
And gymnastics not just works on your muscular development, but when you're doing things like hand balancing, can you imagine the, the strength of your tendons and ligaments to support your whole body weight on your hands? I mean, can you imagine the strength of your wrists, your forearms, your elbows and shoulders, as of course your core has to do so much work just to hold you straight up and vertical. And on top of that, if you're doing things like handstand push-ups and other uh, strength feats that are known in gymnastics, you will obviously develop incredible strength in your joints, bones and muscles. Now, this would obviously give you a very, very strong foundation to work with. And when you build muscle on top of a strong foundation, well, here, here is a wonderful example of what such a combined uh, form of training can achieve. Truly Herculean type of physiques such as Ed Theriot. Now, the ability of Ed Theriot to perform hand balancing, it was, it was something that he definitely attributes his whole physique to, especially his upper body development. Um, but one of the features that stood most out of Ed Theriot, besides his massive biceps, were his sweeping triceps. He had these massive triceps. You can see, uh, clearly see it, see it in this um, photo here, this black and white photo in the middle, where he's just holding his arm overhead, and you can see the sweep in that tricep. He really had phenomenal tricep development for such a small uh, frame. Uh, I just want to read a quote from an article. He has a 17 inch upper arm flexed and his triceps are amazing. These muscles stand out like huge bulges and cover most of the lower part of his raised arm as though the flesh merely hung down from gravity. Yet that same flesh is all powerful muscle. Hard when tensed. It is his overdevelopment of the triceps that gives his arm an appearance far better than any other bodybuilder's triceps because Theriot is only five foot one inch in height. And this is what I mean. People just were amazed at, at his triceps development. And he attributes most of his triceps development to hand balancing. He could, he had, he, you can see in this photo uh, on the left, he had a perfect hand balance. You can see he's holding it. And as he does so, his triceps are just bulging out. You can really see them. He was a really good hand balancer. And um, as mentioned earlier, one of the feats that he used to do was edge at the edge of a table perform these edge of table dips. And he would perform up to 15. Joe Wader claims seeing him do it 15 times. That is pretty close to the record. I know the record is 17 times because um, in the York hand balancing course, you can actually um, read that on my uh, website. It's on. It's available for purchase on my website. But the world record apparently is 17. And Ed Theriot could do 15, so he was incredibly strong. He could do 15 consecutive dips, touching his chest on the table. And it's just amazing. You can see uh, Joe Wade there is just smiling. So his ability to hand balance really did play an, an enormous role in uh, developing his upper body. Now, the strength feat I talked about earlier, which Ed Theriot was famous for, that is bringing the chest all the way down to the table, was not a handstand push-up. And of course, Ed Theriot, just like many other silver and golden era bodybuilders, um, could perform handstands and even handstand push-ups. I mean, for, look, you can even see in this photo, Arnold is even performing handstand push-ups. And um, he actually did this, and it also helped him in his development of his upper body. But the... Uh, exercise I'm actually talking about is a much more advanced. It's actually called a tiger bend, and we're going to look at that now. Now, the tiger bend is a much more advanced uh, hand balancing feat, and it's actually a great strength for, for um, determining how strong you are in your hand balancing and in your gymnastics. Um, you're actually supposed to start with your elbows on the flat surface of the floor, or in this case, on an elevated box. Um, you've got Sigmund Klein here. A uh, real famous practitioner of also gymnastics and hand balancing. He was a famous bodybuilder also. Um, more known though in the bronze era, not necessarily in the silver era. And uh, the tiger bend starts off, as I mentioned, with hands and elbows on the flat surface. And from here, you rock up onto your hands. You actually rock and press up. Um, and then you're, you have to actually then after that, after you've pressed up into basically almost a handstand, with your legs arched over your body to counterbalance, um, you actually then supposed to come back down. And as you come down, uh, as you can see from the uh, first figure, 
uh, Sigmund Klein is actually almost touching his chest on the box and that's what Ed Theriot could do. He could actually bring his chest all the way down, touch it, and then come back up onto a handstand and back down again 15 times. Insane amount of strength to be able to do that. And he again, he attributes his triceps development, his amazing triceps development, to this uh, incredible ability to um, control his body doing hand balancing and these gymnastic stunts. Amazing, amazing strength for for um, a natural bodybuilder of the 40s. Incredible. So, besides being a well-accomplished hand balancer and tumbler, Ed Theriot was also well known for his amazing vacuum poses. Here are three shots. Um, again, I've already shown you the famous front double biceps pose with a vacuum of Ed Theriot, but he also had this incredible ability of basically just chucking a vacuum in any pose. And one of his most extreme poses was the one on the very far right, where he brings both arms up extended overhead and actually, while performing a vacuum, could pull out his scapula to the sides. Incredible. So he was a master poser as well. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video on the amazing Ed Theriot, the pocket Hercules of the 40s, of the 1940s in the silver era of bodybuilding. Um, you can see now that his combination of gymnastics, hand balancing and tumbling really did help in developing a true Herculean physique on such a small stature. And I hope that you can adopt some of these um, thoughts and techniques that I've talked about today. If you've enjoyed watching the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookum. Thank you for watching and leave me your comments. Um, if you'd like to support my work, please donate via PayPal or become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm. Or you can actually purchase many of the uh, hand balancing courses that I've got on my webpage, which I'll display in the next slide. If you want to hang around for that, please do so. Anyway, that's it for me. This is the golden era bookworm. Bye for now. So you can actually purchase on my website www.goldenerabookworm.com four different uh, hand balancing booklets that I've just uploaded, the most basic being the A to Z of Balancing with Dynamic Strength written by W.J. Hunt, an actual Olympic athlete of the time. And this is a, a pretty good introduction to hand balancing and it does go through the tiger bend for those of you interested in performing this feat. Um, but I truly reckon that the York hand balancing course number one and two are awesome and they are also available on my website. And they actually go through all these different su supplementary exercises that really strengthen um, your practice of hand balancing. I really love these courses. Um, now, finally, I've also got The True Art and Science of Hand Balancing written by Professor Paulinetti. And this truly is a gem of a book. Um, and it goes through really advanced forms of hand balancing and strength feats. Um, again, all these books are highly recommended, available on www.golden erabookworm.com and of course you'll also find their uh, books and booklets from the golden era of bodybuilding the silver era and bronze era so check it out